About a week ago, we covered the coolant leak from the Russian cargo ship Progress MS-21. In recent days, its surface was inspected by cameras of the robotic manipulator Canadarm2. The pictures will help to determine the cause of this malfunction. On February 18th at 2.26 Universal Time, the Progress MS-21 cargo ship undocked from the Poisk station module. The leak of the cooling medium on February 11th had only a minimal effect on the departure date of the spacecraft. It was delayed by only a few tens of minutes. This time, however, something was different. It usually happens that after the ship undocks from the station, it gradually moves further and further away. This time, however, the procedure was planned differently. Progress moved only a few meters away from the station and then changed its orientation by 180 degrees. There was a reason for this. At that time, detailed imaging of the ship's surface was underway, which was supposed to reveal traces of damage to the cooling circuit. At the same time, the ship did not move away from the station. Both bodies flew in formation. Based on the available images, the ground teams had to quickly decide on the next course of action. If additional inspection was needed, progress would be connected to the prickle module. However, the preliminary inspection did not reveal anything serious. Therefore, after a few hours, the Roscosmos and Energia Commission decided that the connection of the ship to the station was not necessary and the mission could continue towards the demise of the cargo ship in the atmosphere. Thus, on February 19th, at around 3.15 Universal Time, Progress MS-21 performed a deorbit burn that guided it into the atmosphere. The unburned debris fell into the Pacific Ocean approximately 45 minutes later. Thank you for watching Spaceflight News. If you have something on your mind, we would love to hear your feedback in the comment section.